The ministry, or rather the L. 十多位议员在部长发表声明后追加提问，他们关心的问题包括政府为何不召开听证会，以及政府是否会检讨投入在公共交通方面的拨款和补贴。How is the balance struck again between the cost of over maintenance and the prevention of avoidable disruption incidents? SMRT's spending on maintenance for the north-south and east-west lines has remained steady over the past few years. SMRT has also invested in building up its engineering and technical capabilities under Mr. Xia's chairmanship, and it has embarked on initiatives using its own resources to further improve rail reliability. Would the minister consider allowing such pu public hearings because uh, the transparency will be helpful towards building and maintaining public trust and confidence? There are different ways to conduct an investigation. But if our objective in the end is to find out what happened and to ascertain the root causes and to identify the areas where we can do better, I'm confident that what we have set out through the LTA and TSIB investigations can achieve that purpose. How then will commuters be assured that fair increases will lead to tangible improvements in service reliability? For example, how much of the fair revenue increase is allocated specifically towards improving service reliability. For service reliability, we will keep track of the performance and if the operator were to miss their service quality benchmarks, their reliability benchmarks, they could miss out on receiving certain incentive payments. Or if there are lapses and investigations are conducted and there are lapses, they could also face panel. Can I ask the minister, who is also the second minister for finance, if the government would also review uh, the overall government funding uh, and subsidies for public transport uh, so that we can have a more reliable, more resilient as well as more connected public, public transport system? We will continue our investments in our public transport system, both rail and bus. And today, we spend every year more than a billion on buses in terms of subsidies for commuters and more than a billion on rail in terms of subsidies for commuters. Every trip that is taken by a commuter carries with it a subsidy from the government of more than a dollar.